This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. That's the message the Biden campaign is spending $50 million to blast in homes across the country, making it clear they want Donald Trump's criminal conviction at the top of voters' minds before their first debate. Everything he has done in every aspect of his life has been resoundingly condemned. It's a dicey move for the Biden campaign, as the president's own son is now also a convicted felon. The Trump campaign blasted the ad, saying it once again proves the sham trial was always meant to be election interference, but Americans see through it. Both candidates were on the campaign trail over the weekend, with the former president in Detroit aiming to appeal to black voters and President Biden holding a star-studded fundraiser in Hollywood, which his campaign says hauled in a record-breaking $30 million. But this video, shot by The Hollywood Reporter's Chris Gardner, has gone viral, showing Biden's former boss, Barack Obama, leading him off stage after the president appeared to freeze up. During his event, the former president took some shots at Biden's age, but has his own slip-up. I think he should take a cognitive test like I did. I took a cognitive test and I aced it. Doc Ronnie, Doc Ronnie Johnson. Does everyone know Ronnie Johnson? Trump's doctor's name is actually Ronnie Jackson, a congressman from Texas. The White House is dismissing any concerns about President Biden at the fundraiser, saying he was just taking in the crowd's applause. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.